So let's hope we can kill this a bit short of the hole. Hit it! Oh! Almost as brilliant as the invention of tequila. Gaming. Welcome back, all you Strat fans. Batty took a day off yesterday from competition, and he played a fans course, which was absolutely beautiful. If you'd like to check that out, take a look up in the corner here. I'll link to it. It was a real fun time. But now we're back to competition. Hopefully Batty's batteries are recharged and ready to go as we tackle the Belfry. And a nice, strong, solid drive. Should be interesting. Right up into the fairway. And I think being below the hole is going to be most beneficial for most of these. So we'll put a bunch of loft on this wedge. This one's looking pretty good. And that's about pin high, which isn't awful. We've got a bit of left to right break, and then it starts to move a bit back towards the left, towards the hole. And see if that's enough. Move back a touch. Oh! That's a rough one. Thought I had a great line on it. But we'll have to just take that par putt, I guess. I would have loved to start with that birdie. But instead, we're just back on the tee. Bombing another drive. And that was just launched. Again, this strong wind. This time, blowing way off to the right. And see if this is a good line. Well, it looks like this might be heading for some trouble. Get on hopping. Oh, dang. And he will I think I might have actually had some loft on that wedge, which I should have taken off, and that would have been perfect. I'm actually going to try and chip this one. So let's hope we can kill this a bit short of the hole. Hit it. Oh. Oh. Apparently chipping was a brilliant idea there. Almost as brilliant as the invention of tequila. And I guess that makes up for the bird putt I missed. Fairway. I don't mind being in the rough because I actually want to lay up and try and get on in three anyway. So we'll just throw that ball out in the fairway and move on. Now this spot is tricky because this hole is in a weird spot where if you go too long, you're really screwed left. And it also bleeds to the right on the other side of the hole. See if this stays short. Okay. I would have liked to be closer. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to play it off to the right because it moves more left. And we'll try and get this close and take a par. There goes the left. Oh, it moved quite a bit further left than I thought. So far so, it didn't even try and move back towards the hole. But we got our par and that's okay. And the wind just keeps a blowing. It should help here. Move it out towards the fairway. Fairway here. Right there. This is actually one where I don't mind if it's a bit past the hole. So let's try it about here with the nine. Gonna put a bit of loft on it so it doesn't go too far past that hole. Stay on the green. Bit of a break here, but it shouldn't be too hard to keep it somewhat close to the hole to again try and tap in for par. Or we take the birdie. We said par was good. But I think we agree birdie is way better. That plops us to two under par. And I'm very happy with that start. These holes five through nine were very difficult for me in my practice round. And we can see a tricky pin placement here. So I'm going to try to take this nine iron, adding a touch of loft to try and keep it up there. Looks like a solid strike. Oh my goodness. Who is this guy? Batty is dialed in right now. 
At this rate, I might be completely drunk through nine. And I think I'd be fine with that. Yard. If it means these scores keep going low, that's a sacrifice the Stratman is willing to take. Another tricky pin here. We gotta clear this water for sure, but I also don't want to be too long past this hole. Eight iron might be too much. Nine iron might not be enough. Let's just go after it. All right. Believe it or not, we have another birdie putt here. And it's a pretty straightforward one that we didn't even think about. My insides are burning. And it's not the tequila. It's just baddies on fire. And we're back on for another birdie putt. Pretty decent break here. These are always kind of a guessing game for me. Ooh. That's a solid par. Fantastic. I would have been happy being at one or two under. Not happy with the plug. Ew. So now we're going to be fighting to save par here. Just try and get in that fairway. That fast swing on the tee was a really big miss. As now we need to try and pitch this wedge up here. Oh, bad hop. And this is unfortunately a putt for par. So I was getting real pumped about that four under. And we look like we're giving one right back. So let's just try and get close and save the bogey. Or... I... I kind of love that. What a save. All that hard work on the putter yesterday paid off. Leave that as a lesson for yourselves, kids. Even on your off day, you can always put in some work. As we take this 7-iron, I'm going to de-loft it quite a bit. Try and hit short and go up that ridge. Is it enough? One hop. All right. Leaving a shot at a birdie here is pretty good. This is a hole I definitely would have been happy with par. And I still will be if I miss this. Like that. Ooh, just par. Definitely went way too high on that putt, but there's my par. And I'm all right. Oh, through nine holes, I'm at four under par. And I'm pretty pumped about that. Now we move into a very fun hole where it's a par four that we can drive straight towards the green. It's flirting with the edge. Good hop. It looks like it moves quite a bit right to left, but at a gradual pace. Let's see if we can lag putt this close enough to get a birdie. Is that enough power? It was just short, but a really good line. And that's a tap in birdie if I've ever seen one. I love tap-in birdies. The affection I have for a tap-in birdie must be very similar to a parent's love for their child. So far? Great tee shot. And now a pretty good distance as a second shot into this par four. Gonna deal off a little bit to make sure it gets there. It's a pretty good line. There's our hop. Look at it, it kind of moves right to left at the start and then left to right. So I'm going to play this almost straight, just a touch, I think, to the right. Does it move? Oh, come on. I needed a touch more to the right. But I really can't complain, as I'll take that. Ooh, bit of a fast swing might be danger. Oh, dear. Oh, what a lucky, lucky hop. Oh, that could have easily got in the creek. And we'll see if we can scramble for a par save out of this mess. Chip it up. Oh! And we'll just tap that par in and move away. Move away so fast. I got a real lucky hop. 
And that was a blast. Ooh, so is that drive. A little bit of wind at the back. So I'm just going to take the loft off of this thing that it has on naturally. And try and put it up there. Bean. Oh, took too much off. Guess I should have left it, but that's all right. An okay putt coming out of the fringe. Little tap. Hold on. Oh, just broke away. But again, we tap in a par, and that's okay. They can't all be great holes. But I do like my ability to scramble today, which has been pretty good. And I think for this one, we're going to take a five iron, play it low, so it hopefully hits below that ridge and hops up towards the hole. There's low. Come on, hop. And a great hop up there. We'll go out to the right. Little touch. And a beautiful birdie. It's been a few holes since tasting this sweet nectar. But it's still delicious. Now we have to try and put another drive out here to a small landing area. Fair just way. left of those bunkers. Great. It's debatable. Could be rough. Could be fair. Bit of a miss on the fairway, but that's not a big deal. As now we try to pitch it up towards this hole. Oh, it moved a bit left. But we're on that level that we want to be. Leaving a chance at a birdie. Oh, and again, just a bit high. Having a few too many of those now. I haven't felt this dialed in in ages. Now we left a good distance for this pitching wedge. Playing a bit off to the right. Added some loft. As it breaks towards the hole when it hits the green. Just a little. I was a bit too conservative playing it as far out right as I did. But I don't mind. And we'll just delicately tap this down the hill. Come on, side door. Oh! Way. That break did not look like it was going to be that much. Gonna drop for par. But there's par. This tee shot really makes you make a choice. Do I hit driver and have to make a big draw? Or do I lay it up short, knowing that this is a par five? We're going to try the three wood. And as long as it clears that bunker, we're really good. There we go. I think with the round I'm having, I didn't want to be too aggressive. Which again, I can just hybrid to the fairway. And hopefully leave a good third shot here. I think it's a pretty good distance. As we have this nine iron pitch that I'm going to add some loft to. Oh, bit further than I wanted. But that's all right. I would have rathered the uphill putt, but the slightly downhill looks like it's pretty quick moving to the left. And we'll try and delicately tap that. And we missed it. Definitely played that as a conservative hole. I feel like maybe I should have just taken driver off the tee. But I can't complain too much with a par. And now the final hole with a beautiful view in towards the green. As this hole is in a really tough spot. Good luck to us. Going with the four. To put a solid swing. And let's see what happens when it hits that ridge. Get up. All right. Are you kidding me? And I think the Stratman is loving this round. Oh, and taking the right door. Good golly, Miss Molly. That deserves another drink. Wow. So there we have it, folks. The Stratman recharged his batteries yesterday. He played that fun round from a user on Reddit. And that was just exactly what he needed. This was a really fun round. It was challenging. But I feel like I played almost every shot just how I wanted. Couple missed putts. But overall, that's a heck of a round. So come back tomorrow, join the Stratman as he tries to take down this tournament. Can the Stratman continue to have fun in the sun? Or will the Belfry drain his batteries? 
Find out tomorrow. Same golf course, same YouTube channel. Smash that subscribe button. If a round like this didn't do it, what are you waiting for?